Microcosmos. Destroy Games just came in the mail. I'm going to unbox. Well, my setup is garbage, so I don't really have a good... Let's see if the uh, Epidel tree will help me. Mm. Nice and blurry. Let's put it up here. No. Hmm. Not really working like that. Let's try like this. Well, I think I think that's it. Woo! Okay, backwards Everdell tree. With a win. All right, let's see what we got here. Microcosmos. This looks nothing like the start of the campaign when I backed it, but I'm not complaining. This game looks good. And it feels good. Man, I wish I had a... Uh... Ooh, look at that. Dude, that is a good open. Am I getting all this in there? Okay. Oh, I smell the boxes, but man. Tiny components. This is a micro game. Microcosmos. Looks like unique. Some of them are unique. Uh, yeah, there is some unique. Similar, very similar, but unique. These ones look like trailers. I thought you haul like little small trailers you'd pull. Not getting a spaceship vibe. That looks like a spaceship. These look like tiny cars or. But they're probably buildings or something. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Uh, but we got this looks like a four player. I should know this already. Yeah, one to four players. Approximately 30 minutes per player. Woo! Okay, this is kind of what you come up to next. A lot of space there. Almost looks like a standard card could go in there, but not really. Not definitely not sleeved. These look interesting. A lot of detail and design went into these. Oh, cool. Yeah, I don't I don't hate that. Some pretty good art. Okay, if you're looking here, we got a little bit of variety in this pack. Um Am I going to be able to open this? Because I like when they have the pre-cut thing and they're, they don't have it on this one. Oh, man, I'm going to have to get a knife. Okay, I didn't want to, but I'm going to leave. Oh, Alright, so I figured I'd bring my... Tiny Epic Vikings, which is another Kickstarter I backed, but I haven't opened this one yet. But look at the comparison there. A little smaller, but taller. Now, I got the Deluxe Edition. Interesting. Uh, I haven't heard great things about this, so that's why I haven't opened it yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it, but I might open it. I might play it. Let's see. Oh yeah. So we're gonna just open these cards, just get a quick, you know, touch. See what kind of playing cards we got here. Okay. They feel not super thick at all, but not super thin. A little bit of a mat on it, so, you know, I like it, I like it. Look at all the art. Man, they did, they want actually a, I like the art. And the, just trying to look at the, looks like multi-functioning cards. So, hmm. Interesting. And they got numbers on it, which I think go to, uh, deck doesn't like, not have anything to do with the game, but just with building, uh, the components making sure you have it all okay and this looks like 
create trading posts, scout. Interesting. Um, okay. There's a back of that. I'll leave that for that. Let's open the next section here. We got, okay. Oh, wow. These are dip. So it starts with black, white, purple, and yellow. And then we go to blue, red, orange, and green. So that's a little interesting. I wonder if that's going to be, I don't know why they chose. I mean, these are blue, red, gray, and green. Heh. Heh. Interesting. Okay, there's that. This comes out. Oh, whoa, look at this. Is this two? What is this? I think this is two. It's like squished together. But I don't know. Can't seem to open it. Seems like it's glued or something. Is that the. Huh. I may have glued that just maybe for where I'm just. I can't freaking open it. Maybe that's just what I'm. Oh. Yeah, I just, I couldn't open it. Sweet. So, stack your components. Maybe take them out of the bags. And then the board. Okay, hey, here we go. There's the bottom of that. Art looks pretty good. No complaints there. Looks like something that I could be into for sure. The shoe on the side. Okay, we got... The rule book, okay, a little flappy thing here. Seems it's pretty good uh, material. I like that flat, it's thick, thicker. So we got a lot going on here, a lot to read. Uh, so the different colors on the squares are the resources, different resources. And then you got 12 liter tokens, four engine tokens. So there, this is a lot. There's a lot going on here. Aim of the game. Players travel the galaxy, discover new planets, make them habitable, gather resources, create colonies and trading outposts, settle survivors of the great war on new planets, which can become their new homes. Terraforming planets and settling survivors gives players victory points. After fully terraforming a specific number of planets, the game is over, and the player with the most victory points wins. Ooh. Cool. That looks like... That character right there actually looks like a Disney character. I can't put my... I can't put a name to it, but he looks very familiar. I think it's Disney. Cool, cool, cool. A lot, a lot, a lot in the rule book. That's okay. I'm sure it'll be. Yeah, so part of it is the uh, Autonoma. Very interested in that, how that plays. One of the reasons I bought this game was because it was. Uh, I had a solo. So this is the instructions if you're. No, I'm sorry. I, I'm not good with the other languages, but I think that's Polish. That's my guess. Look at that. Okay. See, close up, that guy looks nothing like the other character. But, what do we have here? This is probably the... That's cool that they did a back arc of that. Like that. This is the victory point tracker, I'm assuming. And then places for cards, I'm assuming. And then... Here is... The... Kutramar, or something. I don't have... Not good in the language. Okay. Now these are not very, the stock here is not incredible. Not incredibly thick, kind of thin, but it has a matte finish, which, you know, water would definitely uh, damage this, but the, the finish is smooth. I like that. You know, it, it if you quickly wipe up a water drop, you know, you could possibly say, mm, you know, not really, but The art, there's a ton of art here, and I, I can definitely appreciate that. It seems like a lot is going to be involved in strategy and different scheme in here. 
Looks like all the cards are unique. Cool. And there's a bunch here. Look at all that. Whole bunch. And then down here at the bottom, we got, I don't know what these are. So we got a back and forth. Is this the same thing on both sides? This looks like the same thing on both sides, for whatever reason. Okay. Oh, and then maybe some like unique characters? Cool, so you get to play as a unique character possibly. Kai, I can like that. <clears throat> yeah, I can get into that. And then, okay, well, there's four characters. And then, no, uh, well, there's only four to choose from, but they probably are all the same, I'm assuming. Yes, all of them are the same. It's not like, a, it's not asymmetric, which I like. I have enough asymmetric games. I do like that they put art on everything. Maybe some lore might have been good. You know, words are, are cheap. Um... Different ships here, and then turn summary. I dig it. Cool. There's that. That's it. That's the core game. Let's open up this expansion real quick. Let's see what we get with that. Now I haven't done a whole lot of research on what I what this game is and what I bought, but it looked cool, so. It was cheap, thirty dollars. I can't remember if I paid for shipping, but probably did. Maybe forty dollars total to get this from Poland. Came all the way from Poland, so you know how, how can you get? That's pretty sweet. Destroy games. I mean, the art's cool. I'm just curious to see how this gameplay goes. So what are we getting here in the expansion? A little bit of different units. Maybe some end of the game goals. Okay, these. Hmm, let's prepare that. They feel the same. Same quality. Possibly end of the game goals and the like immediate effect type. Uh, so we'll have to play the base game first and then decide and then add the expansion and then decide for ourselves. Is it a good expansion or not? Is it? Oh, whoa, 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 what do we have here? So we have the campaign book. Oh my gosh. This is a campaign. Okay. Wow. Scenarios. Scenario 10. Oh, it goes up to 10 scenarios. You can save your game. Okay, I'm digging that. <laughs> this is huge. Why do they give you so much? Who is playing this much? This has got to be 200 plays right here. This is, well, I mean, who knows? I've never played more than, you know, I'm embarrassed to say I'm not, I'm probably not a true gamer. I enjoy games a lot, but I probably wouldn't play more than 10 of this. But I don't know how, how this works. So maybe one per scenario, one per campaign, or one for the whole campaign, who knows? But shoot, I'm excited now. This is cool. These have different things. All right, I'll end it there. And then next video will be gameplay.